How to Kill Bagworms on Roses Have bags, will travel, leaf munching bagworms Thyrodopteryx ephemeriformis spend their time toting cocoons, or bags, camouflaged with bits of plant material. On Roses Rosa SPP, Hardy in U.S. Department of Agriculture plant hardiness zones 3 through 10, the leaf-covered, spindle-shaped bags may resemble tiny, green cigars. Each bag has an opening at its top end, where a worm exits to eat and make bag repairs. The worms are larvae that develop into moths. Bagworm killing methods vary with the severity of an infestation. Bag them with bugs. The easiest way to kill existing bagworms and prevent a future infestation is to enlist the worm's natural predators in the fight. Narrow-waisted calcid and ichneumonid wasps inject the worms with poison venom and deposit their eggs in the paralyzed victims, which become food for the wasps' larvae. Entice the adult wasps to your rose garden by planting their favorite nectar and pollen producing herbs and flowers. Fennel Phoeniculum vulgare, hardy in USDA zones 4 through 9, is an option if you curb its invasive tendencies by removing its spent flowers before they go to seed. As annuals, colorful marigolds Tagetes erecta attract the wasps from spring until the first fall frost. Employ hand to worm combat. If you want to kill only a few bagworms, wait until fall when the roses drop their leaves before they enter dormancy. The bags will be easier to see, and so you can remove them by hand. The male bagworms have brown pupil cases sticking out of the lower ends of their bags. If you have lots of roses to hand pick, keep the male's bags in place. When adult male moths emerge from the bags in spring, they'll leave your roses in search of females. Warning. The females bags the ones without pupil cases at their lower ends contain up to 1,000 eggs apiece. Seal them in plastic bags for disposal leaving them on the ground gives the eggs a chance to hatch a new generation of rose infesting worms in spring. Beat them with bacillus. Treat a serious bagworm problem with organic bacillus thuringiensis var. Kerstaki spray more conveniently known as Bt. It contains bacteria lethal to the young bagworms but won't harm predatory wasps, honeybees or other beneficial insects. Bt damages the bagworms' digestive tracts and eventually kills them by starvation. Wear eye protection, waterproof gloves, a long-sleeved shirt, long pants, socks, closed dough, shoes and a hat when preparing and using Bt to keep it from irritating your skin and eyes. Use a hand sprayer to apply Bt to rose bushes in the hand sprayer. Dissolve 4 teaspoons, or the Bt label's specified amount, of Bt concentrate in 1 gallon of water. Bt microbes degrade quickly in sunlight early evening treatment is most effective. Spray the roses until both sides of their leaves are completely wet, and spray the roses each day with freshly mixed Bt until the bagworm eggs stop hatching. To treat the bacillus treatment correctly, harvest some female bags in late winter and keep them in sealed jar out of direct sun. When larvae start emerging from the eggs inside the cocoons, it's time to spray the infested roses.